Are you married? No. Well, we wish we were. <laughs> Why can't you be? Because <laughs> you don't have any money. <laughs> Everyone agrees marriage is a huge commitment. It totally defines everything you do from here on out. It's a woman you get somebody to take care of, you know? But you also get someone to take care of you. It's give and take. I think if you got this far, you probably do. You're you not do just it? marrying her, she's <laughs> yeah. marrying you. Yeah, yeah dude. Come on. <laughs> Do it, do it to it. Please. You guys seem pretty positive. Do it for us. Yeah. <laughs> do it for you. This next man seems excited for our groom. How long have you been dating that girl? About five years. Uh, five years and two months, exactly, actually. Yeah, then you'll know. You should know. How do you ever know? I mean, people get married thinking they know, and then... Dan's confused, so Steve McCall makes it clear. It's all a crapshoot. <laughs> it's all a crapshoot? It's all a crapshoot. I mean... I think you know when you got the right girl and they're cool and... Yeah, you do, and then something happens and they turn out crazy or... <laughs> horrible and hence the It's not crazy, crazy though. This this one's not crazy. They're yeah. all crazy. <laughs> they're all crazy. Yeah, too dis yeah. I mean, everyone has issues. Guys have issues. Oh, absolutely. Girl has issues. I've had, like, yeah, I'm gonna have you arrested and put in prison. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are you guys married? No, I've been with the same yeah. girl yeah, on and girl. off for like eight years, but we've been real solid for the last two. I'm I plan on marrying this girl. Yeah. She, she's insane. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> she's absolutely insane. No, there's good crazy and then there's But I love girl. her to death. And that, they say, is what makes it all worthwhile. I think you should too. Two months. Absolutely. Five years is a long time, man. You want to do it. I can see it in your eye. You, want to do it. you gotta do what you think is right. Yeah. But when Dan runs off to the men's room... Well, I've never had to talk somebody into getting married before. I tried talking my friend out of it. Guess who's out there looking for him? <laughs> I think that's the wife. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, Like I'm willing oh to put money on God. that being the wife. Should we just tell her? I'm going to go tell that dude. Immediately, Steve is off to warn Dan. Dan, how you making out here, buddy? I'm all right, man. All right, because I see your wife, like, walking down the street right now. I'm for, assuming it's your wife. For real? It's a woman in a wedding dress. Uh, right. What should I do, man? Uh, you know what you should do? I don't know what you should do, but we'll figure this out together. Now he's the groom's wingman, but here comes the bride. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Excuse me, um, have you seen a guy in a tuxedo? Uh, oh, anybody in specific? Like, specifically? Yes, my fiance. And now Steve just can't take the tension any longer. It's like five minutes before we're supposed to get married. I tell you what, you go, I guarantee he'll be there. Yeah. Do you guys know where he is? No. I mean, I'm, I'm really worried. If you guys know where he is, I, I need to know because I don't know what this means. I, I think that dude just needed to clear his head so he could be all straight and ready to go for the wedding. You're pretty white dressed in a bar stool. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Head on back, honey. He'll be there shortly. I guarantee it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. She just said she's leaving right now. I said you will be there. Don't make a liar out of me. Dan is finally back. What'd she, what'd she say? How was she? She was just worried. She was just, like scared that you weren't going to show up, so go. <laughs> I don't know if I can be there, though. You have to go. I got 15 minutes. What should I do? You got five minutes. I got this guy. Get a she is a very pretty girl, very Cheers. nice girl. She is. Go. Of course she is. I love her, and I love her. <laughs> she loves me. You're making a mistake. Hurry up and drink that. I'm a marriage counselor, kid. Have fun. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. All right. <laughs> For the second time today, Dan is off and running, and so are we. I'm John Quinones. How are you doing? I'm what, Steve McCall. What would you do is the TV show. There were actors. I, I would drink heavily. <laughs> I told him to get his ass there and not to make a liar out of me. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Pretty girl, go marry that girl. Simple as that. That's it. Then she comes in. What were you thinking? I said, if you go to your wedding, honey, she, he will be there. Just go to your wedding. And I told him, don't make a liar out of me, go to your place. At the end of the day, it didn't seem to matter whether it was the groom or the bride with the last minute jitters. All right. Let's all Everyone voted for love. Good job.